Chris Elias, our executive producer for this episode. What's up, man? Um, thank you, Elias, for donating on, on the Patreon. Um, dot com slash cmc. Dot com slash cmc. Patreon.com slash cmc. Good, good call. I, like yeah, that. I, like I, I rolled with that. Rolled in the right thing. Uh, today we're going to make the TV. Don't tell them, they won't know. No, then that Although would be Although it's at the end card. Yeah. Uh, it slides up over my head Alan on Alan said it's working. Oh, really? Yep. Sweet. Thanks, Alan. Uh, Alan. Alan. <laughs> Alan. Thank you. Alan. Uh, yes, I, I purposely make the cards slide up over here so it's impossible to ignore. When you slide stuff at the bottom, it becomes optional because your brain is smart enough to dis dis disacknowledge it. Or when you're right in the way. Yeah. I just have to move my head like this so that it goes whoosh, whoosh, across like that. That's all, huh? Uh, yeah. So I try and position it to where it's not covering my face completely. I may be able to do this twice. But did you add, so you're telling me you looked in that hole and you knew that there's another ounce in there. <laughs> well, pour it and see. Well, let's find out. You really, you, you don't think we can do, you, oh, wow. Oh, look, see? Yeah. Okay. You could do it twice. No, it's contaminated with rum, so the kids can't have that. Yeah, because they would get drunk off of the, the tiny. If we want them to go to bed early, they can. Um, there you go. This recipe so for Sunday night football. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Here, kids, just drink this. We'll be home later. Have some passion fruit. Recipe submitted by Renee. Um, two ounces of Appleton Estate rum, called specifically for XV, uh, which I think this has an X and a V on it. Or VX, my bad. Uh, an ounce of passion fruit juice. It like does that. have an X and a V. It does. Like, like, that, like that. I never said in that order. So like that poison property. gas that kills you. I, I, yeah. Um, You're busy. Half ounce of lime juice. You got stuff going on. It's okay. Did I say an ounce of passion fruit? I think I did. Um, half ounce of oh, liver. Take it from the top. And, okay. Two ounces of apple, an ounce of passion fruit, an ounce of pineapple gum syrup, and an ounce of lime juice. What he's saying is completely wrong. It's two ounces of apple in the state rum, <laughs> one ounce of passion fruit, a half ounce of lime juice, a half ounce of lime or pineapple gum syrup, That's what I meant. Um, a lime <laughs> wheel garnish, if you wish, and then optional. Head tonight. Optionally, we can add in, and we shall once we know, um, a little bit of Bitterman's Chocolate Mole bitters. These are a bitter that has chocolate. 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 And, uh, it, it looks kind of like Aztec in the way it's written, but it's the original combination of cacao, cinnamon, and spice that is known as Chocolate Mole. Chocolate. Uh, chocolate. I never noticed they have a trademark. Take three percent alcohol by volume. Five fluid ounces. Um, See if they say. It says they recommend adding the libations made with dark rum, aged tequila, and any other dark spirits you may encounter. Any other dark spirits you may encounter? That's kind of dark. Yeah, that's what dark is here. Add it right in there. So first we're gonna stir them. These should have particulates in them. That's normal. So if you're like, oh, mine's bad because it's got bacteria. That's not bacteria. That's flavor. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a shirt. That's not bacteria, that's flavor. Yeah. <laughs> well, it might be bacteria, so be careful. <laughs> if it's green. If it's green, it might be um, bacteria. Tiki teeny. With room to spare. A little bit of dryness going on over here. A little bit of dryness in my face. Here, let's put this. I love this pineapple gum syrup too, so that's always good. Yeah, Liber makes good stuff. Those see. guys down in Austin, Texas, the Liber Company, make some good Texas. stuff. Texas. Texas. Cool guys. Met them at uh, Tales. Tales of Cocktail. I know we've mentioned that before, but we go. have. Yeah, but not everybody watched every show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you would make... it again. We just did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just re reinforcing that. Yes, thank you. So, it's got, it's got um, shards. It's got ice shards, yeah. Doug would hate you. Doug would hate me, but I don't mind ice shards myself. He'd be like, he, this is what he'd do. He'd go, fucking ice shards. <laughs> he would. Icebergs. Hmm. It's not going to sink this drink, though, I don't think. Look at all that rhyming happening in one sentence. It's not going to sink this drink, though, I don't think. <laughs> You're a poet. You didn't even know it. It's not pink. Our coupon code is pink15, though. It goes till November 4th. It does. For also drink. So you can get yourself Why would it be pink? these. Because it's... Cancer, breast cancer awareness month. Oh, all right. But it's it's throughout October. No. Oh, this? No, that's just wrong. No, the coupon code is pink No, um, he said it's not pink, but our coupon code is. I'm like, right. why would it be pink? Gotcha. Because it rhymed with drink and sink and all those other words. Yeah, oh. I think. Um, we don't, I don't think I sell the eight and a halfs anymore. I sell the big ones because mm -hmm. it's a better deal. Um, you also get your Zocatal or the... Chocolatel? Zocatel. So, so, what do you think? And your coupe glasses. Oh, you can get it all. Not this one. Um, that's pretty good. It's tiki-ish, but it's daiquiri-ish. 
It's like a daiquiri. Yeah, it's, it's, a daiquiri it's got. Huh? It's got. Uh, so the passion fruit serves as the sweet, and so does the pineapple gum syrup, and then you get the lime to serve as the. Uh, it's got a little bit of a dry daiquiri. bite to it, though. Yeah, it's good. I don't know where this comes from. It's got um, that tiki though to it, so tiki tiki makes sense. It kind of has like a rich, dark molasses-like flavor to it. That's what I'm thinking with the tiki. Yeah, it, but the passion fruit kind of comes in in the middle. Should we put this in there? And then Jennifer try the final one. You want to try this one first, Jen? Sure. She's gonna try it before the libation has been modified modify with it. bitters. Um, the pine. I like the the use of the pineapple. Mm. Hmm. It's got that. Yeah, it's it's very it's, rich and thick. It's a lot like a tiki Ooh. in that you keep wanting to have another drink of it. Well, it's tiki, I think, because of the pineapple. And the yes. lime. In the, yeah. But there's no pineapple it's, juice. That's, no, but that has a lot of pineapple. It taste. does, yeah. but it's got very rich pineapple. Yeah. And the juice would fill it out. You don't want to stop drinking, just... though, right? It's got no, that. That's good. See, Jen didn't want to stop drinking. It's shady drank I half keep of it. it. I'm only gonna put uh, I want to one dash again. because of because we drank half of it. Yeah. And as in we, I mean you. As <laughs> in we, I mean Jen. <laughs> that's about a dash, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. So it's up nice. front, it was it was sweet. Um. But it, it, it was sweet on that. It was sweet but sour at the same yeah. time. Very similar to like what a real uh, passion fruit has that sour bite to it. I like that. That's a good drink. Yeah. Uh, that's not bad with Jacques Dahl. Chocolata. How do you say it? Chocolatel. 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 Um, well, it's a S, S, S sound, not a Z. Or not a, not a, there's a, not Chocolatel. It's not an X sound, because X doesn't Choc make sounds. Chocolatel. Choc 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 so it's like chocolate. Chocolatel. Choc Choc um, which I didn't know at first. I'm like, wow, it has cocoa in it. That's weird. It's a little rounder. Like, it's, mm -hmm. the molasses has been toned back by just having that one dash in there. Like, the, yeah. the, the, the rich... Molasses that molasses. kind of jumped up, and, and at the end, there's like a little bit. The acid comes out a little more for some reason. It just feels a little like it's taking an edge off. If that makes sense. Like it had like a, I guess this liquid intelligence kind of goes through that too. But the sharp sweets that come up and yes. then it, the, the the fall off. Depending on the sugar content. Yeah. Okay. This kind of had like a sharp sweet, and then it molded into that passion, and then dropped off to a dry sour. Mm. Now it's it's a little bit more of a, of a flow. I didn't even taste yeah. the passion fruit though. What? what? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know I, just I was going to be hard said. and feathered. <laughs> That's later. Yeah. That's for another another show. Yeah. Yeah. We, we it's a different feathered. kind of shoe. When you ask us, when you do silly things like that, you get you get silly <laughs> tar and feather. First person to donate fifty dollars gets to see Jen tar and feather. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, not happening, people. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a you know why that's a good drink because Cause, because cause it is because some it people. Well, good. Because, yeah, but there's it tons of grapefruit juice. There's some, there's no grapefruit juice, but there's tons of tiki drinks that taste good. Yeah. The difference between this one and most, of, probably 90% of the other ones, is it doesn't taste like them. Like, yeah. a lot of them, when you bring in the pineapple juice and the orange juice and, and some of the other flavors, sometimes passion fruit syrup, but they tend to, the orange and pineapple is a good combo. Yeah. But a lot of them bring that, and then they modify that with the different styles of rums, or a different type of sugar, or a cinnamon, or a bitter. And they kill it. Right. They, they've, they've turned it, they, they start with this core that's always the same, and then they try and kind of riff off that. This doesn't have, even though the it riff. has the pineapple, the gum syrup doesn't taste like pineapple juice would, if you were to add that. Because the pineapple juice has a light sweetness, but a lot more volume. This is a lot of, like, concentrated sweetness in a very small, small package. So you can like reuse it over and over. Yeah. I don't think you can make a pineapple juice out of the syrup, because it's 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 like a, a concentrate you know a concentrated syrup. If you took pineapples yeah. and not, you boil it like down or concentrate, concentrate. It's different. right? Right. If you boil out the water of a of a nice ripe pineapple, you're not gonna get. You can't put it back. No. You can just add water. Oh, I have pineapple juice again. It's really good though. I guess if you do it with powder, you can make some of that powdered pineapple juice. What? You know, like a. Uh, Powdered pineapple juice. Oh yeah, that's like stuff. Powdered tea. Yeah, no powdered iced tea. About. Like powder. Like you know how you just take powder and you throw it in water. You say it like you can get it at every grocery store. And that's tea, right? You can get pineapple. pineapple. Not powdered pineapple, but powdered anything. A powdered iced tea. You know, you just get iced tea. You pour it in there and you go. Yes. But it's powder. Yes. It it turns from whatever it was into what it started as in a way, right? I mean, it's it, it's powder and all of a sudden it tastes like tea. How does that happen? 
What's the magic behind that? Did they freebase the, the tea? And, I'm guessing it has to do with dehydration and... But it's powder. Is it really the same thing? Is it really tea that got powdered down? Can you take powdered pineapples and turn it back into pineapple again? No! These are all questions for a smarter person. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? You know, you know math. I'm out of questions a day. And I'm... How about some shout outs while we're here? Yeah, let's do some shout outs first. We did. Let's shout out to a fan from Quebec, fan. co host of one time, Antonin. Antonin. Antonin from Quebec, Canada, also known as from France. In, he's he's in, from Montreal. From Montreal. Where he's going yeah, to school to be a. To be Sommelier. And, and like no stuff about he used stuff to live we in don't know. France. From France. Yeah. From, from France. the south of France. Um, and we also got Patrick Atwell from the Big TX. That's Texas. Yes. Not SEX. And it's a big TX because everything in Texas is it's big. bigger. Yeah. yeah. Except uh, the highways are still the same. So I don't know if it is it Liza or Lisa? Lisa from Ponce, Puerto Rico. I would Puerto say Rico. Lisa. I would think so. L I Z A. Yeah, it sounds good. Lisa. Yeah, if if Lisa. your name is Lisa, I like Lisa. I go with that. Is it, if it's Liza, we're really sorry. Or is it, is it pizza? <laughs> for like, our terrible pronunciation of your name. In Puerto Not for Rico. Your name, but for our pronunciation. Puerto Rico is a, is, is a Spanish dialect, right? A language Rican, dialect, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, it's Latin derivative, I think. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what a Z is supposed to sound like in Latin, do you? I know what it is in German, I know what it is in English. Z. But it's probably just an S sound, right? Lisa? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Lisa. Yeah, we'll go with Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Um, so, Lisa, thank you. So, Liza, for, Lisa. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with, uh, given Liz. the email address, it's probably closer to Elizabeth, so yeah. Liza. 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 Go with that. That okay. makes sense, because it's Elizabeth. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> question of the day. That's what happens when you read further on and you find out emails help you. Too much. Why did you choose your profession? He's a coder. I fell into it. Because you met some people in college that weren't in computers. Yeah. Well, actually, it was because I was a safety major. Didn't had an realize. internship, realized it sucked. <laughs> did a lot of work with Excel spreadsheets, and like, hey, I can do computer work. So added a few classes and so got my CS major. you went and said, I know how to do Excel, so I should cut write code? Well, my Excel experience involved a lot of VBA programs. Oh, you did all the embedded stuff. The yeah. stuff when I put on my Mac, it goes, this contains stuff you can't execute. And you're like, fuck you. Yes. But... Um, before that, I took a programming class and stuff. And just one? I think I just took, you took one. one. Yeah, I took one. one, one. one. And I pick, picked it up a little bit. So he picked up development and became a developer and still is. I, I chose my profession in a similar fashion cause because I like... Because profession chose you? Well, the, my original profession as a developer was because I wanted it. And it was awesome, and I excelled at it. Um, my current profession I fell into, yes. It started as a programmer, and it turned into a programmer for sales, and then it turned into technical... Uh, sales, uh, what you, architect, and then it turned into just sales, technical sales. So I kind of, I don't usually get to pick my choices; they just happen. He's coordinating a, a meetup yeah. um, here, possibly. I think. Um, so, how did you pick your profession? Answer the damn question, because we get we had a lot of good conversations lately. On, on, yeah, the YouTubes. On, on the YouTubes. Uh, yeah. I would like more. And there's a lot of interesting stuff that you guys as viewers have to offer. And it's right. uh, nice to get to know you a little bit. You guys get to know us every week. And we don't know anything. And we don't know a lot about you. <laughs> well, we know a little bit about you guys. But it's not like you're spilling your lies. No, you, you should show. just spill your lies. Why should you pick your profession? And if, if your profession is your teller, you're a drive up something, or, or you just graduated and, and you are an intern someplace, or whatever it is, or you're blue cool collar, or you clean toilets for a living. I don't know. Why'd you pick it? Maybe you fell into it. Maybe it was a family well, thing. Mark is graduating with a... Right in the toilet. Aviation, aviation management. management degree. I don't huh. even know what aviation management means. To me... Stopping planes from hitting each other? I would think, I would think aviation management is a fancy way of saying you clean up airplanes. <laughs> but it could also mean you manage the airplanes. It could mean you just manage an aviation. In general? Uh -huh. Like a training program or something? Yeah. You, you could crack Find it on Craigslist. So, so there you go. Do we have, uh, what else do we got? We got our oh. pink 15 we talked about. Yep, we got we our shout outs. We get the newsletters at everydaydrinkers.com slash newsletter. You can submit your recipe at recipe at everydaydrinkers.com. Yep. And if you want to be a shout out with your own custom graphic that flies across my face during the beginning or end of an episode, then you should go to patreon.com slash cmc and donate. And then you'll be in this list. Which I'll print out weekly, which really means this is the last time I print it out because I could just use the internet. Yeah, I found that you could have written dates down. And, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just trying to make sure I cover everybody, and then what I'll do is just go through linear. I should have started linearly. But you did. 
it won't ever work because new people will come on. I'll oh, okay. fair enough. So I'm still managing it, but you'll get your graphics and stuff like that. So if that's not what you want to do, you can totally roll that way. <laughs> um, and that's it. All right. We're done? We've done this. <laughs> then we are teaching you how to drink. That's really tasty. I mean, Amaretto's great. It's, it's thicker than like your, your normal, normal uh, bourbon sour because of the Amaretto and the simple syrup, I think, which is a, I didn't use as much because it's a yeah. two to one versus a you one to one. You that and this is sweet to begin and with. That's sweet too. And this, this is,